Hello folks, Jerry, and welcome to the fourth part of the Racing Rallys account cleanup series. And this one, we're gonna be going over to do some turf cars that I bought today. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome, I guess we can might as well just take a sneak peek. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of money today. Like, it, it's gonna be awesome. Like, also the Lambo was donation, so uh, thank you to the person who donated. I'm not gonna mention names, because I'm not a shoutout channel. But uh, anyway, as usual, today we will be answering more of your questions. So I guess we should start off at the beginning, shall we? I know you see my comments. Sell me a card on PayPal and blah 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 on Rivals. Okay, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I'm actually not. Uh, selling cards for PayPal at the moment, uh, you know, at the date when this time is uploaded, I will start to sell cards again at the end of uh, September, because I'm having some personal problems uh, with PayPal at the moment, which I probably shouldn't mention, but uh, yeah, I will uh, start to sell again uh, as soon as I can, I'm just not sure when. Uh, I'm not selling for RLC still. But I am uh, selling for Google Play, because, you know, I need to open up more crates, because you guys want that. Um, but, uh, let's see. What's next? Jerry, you want to trade my sign FRS pack for a Challenger Hellcat? Um, no, not, not really, because uh, the sign FRS pack is a decent car, but it is a campaign car. And there's a problem with that because, you know, every time you start off a new um, account, you can choose one, obviously, you know, at our class campaign. And that means that it's not really worth as much as, you know, it obviously would be. Also, it's available in the showroom for, um, like, 700k, and RRC is close to worthless. And, I mean, no, it's, it's not gonna work out like that. Thank you for being specific on the trade, but I will have to pass. Hi Jerry, do you have Honda S2K Race Edition or Mustang Cobra Race Edition for sale? If you do, how much are you selling for? Now I'm not sure what car you mean by uh, Mustang Cobra Race Edition, maybe you mean um, the SVT Cobra, that means that uh, you're talking about the 93 Race Edition Mustang. And I'm not sure, I don't think I have any of those at the moment. Um, also I don't have any Honda S2K Race Editions, but I guess I can uh, just mention that you know if when I set up prices I take into consideration if the cards are clones and you know obviously what place they are so you know a top 25 obviously does cost more than top 100 so um, you know but if you like my Facebook page uh, when I start selling again uh, you can be like one of the first people to see if I'm selling those cards but yeah yeah I'm also not selling for RC if that's what you uh, intended to ask Jerry, what version of Bluestacks do you use? Now, an old friend, not only really, uh, an old friend, just a, a person uh, who can be considered my friend actually, uh, helped me set up uh, Bluestacks. Uh, and, uh, let's see, is this worth it? Yeah, this is worth it. Um, and he was really friendly. And he actually gave me a modded APK uh, of, um, of like an older version of Bluestacks, which was already rooted. So he helped me out a, a big deal uh, back then, and I have to, um, I'm not obviously gonna give him a shout out, but uh, still, I would like to thank him yet again, because this is awesome. So um, there's that, but uh, I guess I can uh, like put up the APK I'm using, uh, even though, you know, it's probably gonna be a bit hard to set up. Some of it is in Russian, I don't speak Russian. Because uh, I'm not Russian, as you guys might think, because of my accent and all that stuff. Uh, but um, then I'm, I might uh, put up a video actually explaining how to use the modded APK. Uh, I guess time will tell. Next up, it just says PayPal only. Uh, when I sell, I sell for Google Play or uh, PayPal. Yes, no RRC because uh, prices of RRC have dropped. Like, I literally got 20 deal. I mean 20 mil uh, just as an extra on the deal I made today, so uh, you know, really uh, not worth all that much. Alright, next up we actually have a really good question. With racing rallies breaking quite often in, and game breaking glitches popping up, how much longer do you think the game will last? Um, that's a really good question actually, like I did think about this because you know, racing rallies is a, currently a huge part of my life with you know, the YouTube channel and all that stuff. So. I mean, it's gonna go down. It's uh, inevitable, just as Car Town. But uh, I know, like we're still, uh, we have still, you know, uh, 
in the past two months, they, uh, I mean, in the past month, they have added two new manufacturers into the game, you know, Mercedes, Koenigsegg, and, I mean, it's really hard to get licensed with, uh, you know, those manufacturers, so I'm assuming that the game is still doing just fine, because, you know, otherwise, like, for the last, uh, let's say, eight months, there have been new, no new features in Card Town, which were, you know, almost daily uh, in the months before that, so I'm assuming that this game is gonna last at least a year more, um, probably more than that, because, you know, um, this game is popular with uh, kids and, I mean, other, uh, like, generations as well, so uh, I think it's gonna do just fine for the next, let's say, two years, but uh, three years, that's a question. I guess time will tell, as I've said before, but um, I don't know. I think it's gonna last longer than uh, than Cartoon, which lasted from uh, late 2009 to uh, August 2014. So, uh, you know what? I think uh, we're still okay. Next up, Jerry, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, no, I don't. Uh, the reason for that is that I really don't go outside all that much. Like, I don't like hanging out with people. I'm more, um, I'm not quite a very social person, I guess. Um, I have like this relatively uh, short list of friends that you know I'm comfortable around uh, with. But uh, the thing is, um, I'm a pretty awkward person. I mean, if you meet me in real life, you're gonna notice. But um, you know what? I actually had one for like a, a week. Let's not talk about that, shall we? But uh, I don't know. Maybe one day. Well, definitely one day. We just don't know when. I guess time will tell. That seems to be a trend, isn't it? Next up, Jerry, can I buy mills from you? PayPal money. Uh, yes, you can. Actually, no, not at the moment, because I'm not selling. But yes, you will be able to at the end of September or, you know, early October or whatever. Um, but I will be selling for a bit uh, of a higher price. Um, mainly because, you know, I need to make a profit to make it, uh, you know, worth my time. So I guess um, I'm thinking about mill prices uh, uh, like... Uh, a dollar per, per mill so you know uh, if you want to buy from uh, somewhere else you can make uh, you can get a better deal for sure but you know uh, by buying from me uh, you are guaranteed that you're gonna actually get you know your money uh, your mills because I'm not a scammer and I have uh, vouchers to prove it obviously next up we have a pretty broken question Jerry when will give another car for free and then he also says I mean give away not a giveaway, just giveaway. And it's actually um, a question that I get a lot, and it has started to an an uh, annoy me quite a bit. Sorry about the English there, almost as broken as the comment. Uh, but um, actually, every time a person asks for a giveaway, I'm gonna push um, the next giveaway three days uh, further. So, you know, I guess the question, I mean, I guess the answer is three days later. Next up, uh, Jerry, why did you unfriend me? I wanted to ask you a question, but you go online, but then, when I looked up your name, you weren't on my friends list anymore. Can you add me, please? Um, well, I mean, I guess you could have actually, you know, considered asking the question which you wanted me to ask uh, right here, but um, I guess, like, uh, fuck, I feel bad because, you know, I, ha I did have to unfriend a couple of people uh, which, you know, were playing recently because, you know, they added me, but... Uh, I mean, for example, I had to add uh, the guy who I bought a couple of, you know, turf cards from. Uh, I had to add him on two different accounts because he had uh, the cards, uh, you know, on two accounts. So, I mean, like, I tried to not remove people uh, who, uh, you know, talked to me recently. Ooh, that's, this is weird. Okay. Hmm. But, um, uh, I'm sorry. I can't re add you. Um, you know, you, you can, of course, ask me the question which you wanted me to ask, but, you know, uh, there will always be uh, unfortunate people who I will remove. It's not personal, obviously, and um, well, I guess it's just the way it goes, you know, but, uh, but, you know, people who I have to add, some people will sadly get sacrificed, I guess. And you're one of those people, unfortunately. Um, look, if you give me like a decent trade, like even a low tier trade, um, I will add you back. I promise. And I am sorry. Alright, next up. Jerry, I have a problem. My game won't start. It keeps crashing me in iPad Mini. Please report it to Racing Levels. It won't start because of the WWE card. It keeps crashing me. 
please help, please, please, please. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, honestly. Um, mainly because, I mean, aren't you, like, supposed to, uh, like, let them know? I mean, you can actually message them on that, uh, website, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I know that's how I reported bugs personally back in Car Town, so, uh, it was that why? I thought this thing was maxed, I guess. I was wrong. Okay. But, uh, wait, does it have NOS? No, it doesn't have NOS. Hmm. Okay, then. So, let's see. Or, you know, you can just, like, contact them uh, via the Facebook page. That tends to work as well, because I did see them actually, you know, respond um, to people w which had problems uh, similar to you. So, uh, you should really do that, mate. Uh, get on it. Next up, uh, I'll trade you my RX-7 GT spec for a uh, Hellcat. Um, no, it's... I think I have actually explained this um, when I talked about the Scion for the Hellcat offer, but uh, it's a campaign car. Campaign cars can be bought for RRC. RRC is worthless. Uh, meanwhile, the Hellcats are, you know, are obtainable from uh, Bronze crates, so you know, they're worth much. I can sell it for more. I'm not losing value. Sorry, have a good day. I'll pass. Alright, next up. Um, Jerry, what do you want uh, them, them to add in the next update? Um, I actually didn't think about this. I guess uh, more cars. Please, uh, just know. Maybe like some custom body kits for certain cars. Like... Um, like, I guess custom body kits, or more body kits in general for cars. I mean, I'm getting, like, tired of, like, seeing uh, the same fucking RRC body kit on the EVO, for example, if you know what I'm saying. Also, more cars, uh, obviously, more bug fixes, uh, and, you know, actually, I wanna see if they can make, um, a fucking, uh, patch without, like, making uh, or creating 10 new bugs. That would be pretty interesting to see. Also, I would like to see an update uh, to the crates uh, while we're at it, uh, because, um, I mean, these ones, the system isn't quite working very well. And, I mean, I have a feeling that a lot of people will actually spend their money on crates if, you know, the system was a bit different. Like, in, back in Cartown, they had, like, all of these... Um, like custom uh, crates where uh, you know they would actually have a specific team for example they had an American muscle mystery, uh, mystery box you know uh, crates were called mystery boxes back in car town and you know you could only get muscle cars from it or they had a Ferrari mystery box you could only get Ferraris from it they also had a Lamborghini mystery box obviously you know you could get Lamborghinis from that and uh, they also had uh, a diamond mystery box one of my uh, favorite boxes back in car town and, you know, you could only get limited edition cars from it, so, uh, you know, I'm actually wondering if they will actually add that. For example, you can only get vaulted cars from it. But really, anything else? Um, no, not really. Well, I guess uh, one more thing is, they need to include the fucking EVO 6 in the game. Like, I saw uh, a fucking EVO 6 written on the, le uh, on the list of uh, soon to come. Um... Like, a really long time ago, like, it's been half a year at least, and I'm still waiting for that, hard, uh, for that card, so I really hope they actually add it eventually, because that's one of my personal favorite cards of all time. Next up, Jerry, make a new video of Stella Pinks, okay? Please, 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 please. Do you even realize how retarded you sound when you, like, fucking say please eight times? Actually... Uh, no, that was nine times. There you go. Um, if I wanted to lose money on Stella Pinks, I would ping Stellas. But I'm not gonna do that, because in case you guys if I didn't figure it out yet, I'm not very good racing-wise. And I don't want to lose money. I mean, spoiler alert, there's like 90% chance of me uh, losing the car, and 10% chance that the guy will foul. So, no, not gonna make them. Sorry, maybe one day, you know. I mean, Bluestacks is actually running smoother at this point in time than it did before. So, I guess that's a good sign. Who knows? Maybe in future. But, uh, nine pleases are not gonna make you, uh, me, you know, want to, uh, lose value. So, I'll, I'll pass on that. Thank you very much. Next up, here's a question. What's your thoughts on Carton closing? What about Glue's choice to remove racing levels from PC? 
Well, first off, they didn't remove it from PC because, you know, there's an emulator and, I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, that they are aware of it, but, uh, well, I get your point. Basically, um, my thoughts on Car Town closing. Now, I made a video back when, uh, when Car Town closed. It was pretty shitty, you know, uh, similar to most of my Car Town stuff because, you know, I was a fucking obnoxious squeaker back in the day. Now, I'm a, now I'm a, I'm an obnoxious asshole. There you go. Uh, but, um... Basically, Car Town reached its peak in 2013, uh, and it was just like fucking sad to watch for like the uh, for like a half a year before it closed because there were no new features, nothing to do at all, and it was just you know it was time to put it down um, because you know when a game reaches its peak, it's only gonna go downhill from there, and Car Town, it was really notable that the game was just not the same anymore, so I actually agreed uh, with the fact that they closed it down, uh, you know, kind of respectfully. I think that they also returned most of the cars to the showroom, so that was a nice uh, little uh, bonus, I guess, and um, Car Town was a good game, I did enjoy it, but uh, let's face it, Racing Lavos has better graphics, better racing, uh, you know, more uh, more weekly features, you know, such as, you know, actual fresh um, fucking uh, turf cars. So, uh, you know what, I'll take uh, uh, racing rolls over the car town any day. And uh, I guess that was that, even though that wasn't really the question. But, um, well, let's see, what was the other part? Uh, what about Goose's choice to move racing rolls from PC? Um, well, I, I mean, I guess I can kind of see why they did it, because, you know, uh, most of the money farming... Uh, came from um, the Facebook version, you know, with all these accounts. Uh, now, it still ain't gonna fix it, but, you know, um, the thing is, uh, there was actually, like, this thing where mills were found a long time ago before, you know, Facebook was closed down, and, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's not exactly, uh, ideal, but, um, whatever. So, uh, I mean, I guess I can see why they did it, um, but, you know, they should have gave us better reasoning, so, you know, we could actually, like, you know, take a look at why they're closing it, and, you know, we wouldn't be as mad, so, uh, I guess that would be a nice thing to do, but, uh, whatever, it is what it is, and, uh, honestly, it could be worse, like, they could, like, fucking decide to, you know, not, uh, make racing levels compatible with blue stacks. so, uh, you know what, I might, uh, have complained a lot, but I'm still glad that, you know, this is allowed, basically playing on the PC, so uh, better than nothing. Next up, what about a Max Nissan GTR 2015 for the RX-7 GT spec, uh, what, uh, white mat, mate, no, he said mate, uh, white mat there, and the Nissan GTR is black mate and purple glow rims, okay. Um, from what uh, I can hear, you have a custom GTR that you want to trade for a... Uh, custom RX-7 spec, and, uh, actually, like, I have a shitload of, uh, Matt, uh, RX-7 specs, so yes, I could actually do that one. Please, uh, give me your in-game name in the comments, and I will add you, and we will do the trade, but you will have to go first, uh, you know, unless you provide, like, vouchers, but considering it's a minor, minor deal, you can just, like, you know, go first, and then that works, uh, but, you know, um, yeah, watch out for the clones, like, I will add you on the... RGS daily sales, the account I'm currently on, so uh, I'm level 178, so if anyone add, uh, adds you and, you know, uh, fucking uh, tries to take the card from you, and the in-game name isn't RGS daily sales, it's not me, actually, you know what, um, ask me to post on my Facebook page, and if I don't post on the Facebook page about the trade, uh, then it's not me, there you go, I guess that's the safest uh, option, isn't it? Next up, uh, when are you going to do a giveaway? I guess it's uh, not three days later, now it's six days later, so uh, good job there, buddy. Good job. Uh, next up, what is your favorite car in racing rallies? Now, this is a question which I did think about a lot. However, I have uh, no answer. Because, you know, there are a lot of awesome cars in racing rallies, and uh, there's just too many of them to decide. Like, I love a lot of cars. I really like the Evo 8s, uh, I really like the Scarlet R34s, uh, I really like McLarens, I really like, you know, also the McLaren GT3s, um, but I guess if I really have to add, uh, answer that, um, 
I would have to say that it is the Evo 8 because it's by far, you know, the the card that I've raced with the most. I never really got bored of it, well, kind of, but uh, I mean that's just because I fucking raced it for like a couple of months. I mean they call me the Evo, Ma they called me the Evo Master for a reason. So um, yeah, I think this is 56 tune. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Skip this card. Actually, it's been like 21 minutes, so I'm actually gonna stop it here. Thank you guys very much for, uh, for the watching. Still have some more questions to ask, so I will make it in a separate episode. So, uh, my name's Jerry, and uh, I'll see you, well, tomorrow, probably. Who knows? See ya!